What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 39, I want to say, of Hartford to the Premier League. Uh, thank you for joining me for this episode. We are playing Weymouth away. I feel like we always play Weymouth. Um, I'm pretty sure we've played Weymouth at least six episodes. Um, like, six matches, obviously, but in six episodes we've played Weymouth. Um, I don't know... I don't know if that's an exact number, but it just feels like we're always playing them. I'll have a quick look at the previous fixtures before I get into the match, as I always should do. Um, so after the Cambridge C match, we played Bedford with an 0-0 draw. Gosport, 1-0 uh, draw, Wayne Moore getting the goal there. Evesham, we beat them 1-0. Um, Adam Griffith scoring that goal there. Um, then we beat OB 3-1. Andy Musto actually picked up a hat-trick in this match. Which brings his total to nine goals in the season so far, and we're in December. Um, just that's just ridiculous. Um, unfortunately, though, we lost three-one against Scarborough. Spencer Bennett picking up another goal, but Norman Bell picking up an injury, um, Jim Miller picking up a knock, and obviously a loss to go along with that. So we have a quick look at the Southern Premier before we play this match. We're three points ahead of Truro. We're first. Um, Guys, this 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 is looking too similar to last season, don't you think? We're going to kind of have a lead around about January, and then we're going to drop off and end around here. Um, hopefully that isn't the case, and hopefully we do win the league and we do get promoted, because that's obviously the goal. So I think I've already done this team, but I'll just have a quick look. I have. Um, as well as this, something which you would have all missed, because uh, I haven't put it in an episode, uh, we actually have signed up all our key players to longer term contracts going all the way to 2020. Um, so I'm pretty happy that this is the team I want to build around. This is the um, the players that I reckon can... I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of change when we get promoted especially. But I want my staff to be here especially. And I want a few key players that might not start every game but will definitely be in and around the team. So I completely forgot to look at the key stats before the match, which is something I actually found out really recently. You can look at the, um, it's like a stat screen before the match. It's like the uh, game preview, and there's a stat screen. I did not know you could view that. Um, I don't know how long that's been in Football Manager for. Maybe it's just this one. Um, but I heard nothing about it, and only ha and I have only, can't even speak, just seen it. Considering it's late August and the game is going to come out soon, uh, the next game then, it's pretty stupid of me. I probably should have seen that before. But that's just me not looking at the football manager too much and just, um, I don't know, just playing it how I normally play it um, without the, that stat screen, which I had no idea was there. So we're playing Weymouth away. Um, away matches don't normally go too well, especially on the live comms. Um, We've had okay. I think the last, yeah, the last live com match was the four-two victory against Cambridge C. But obviously there were two losses before that. Um, I think I named the episodes like the curse of the live com or something like that. So um, hopefully we can win this. I say hopefully quite a lot, don't I? I'm a very hopeful person, clearly. Um, so performances so far not too bad. Scott Booth is probably the best. So the. We're clearly under some sort of pressure. Scott gives the ball away quite easily there, though. Luckily, Misto can clear it. Um, nearly sent straight back into the box, but the highlight was skipped. Blimey, we, I don't actually think we've had any attacking um, highlights the entire half, and I think it's going to end. Um, I don't know. It's, that's weird when it shows stuff like that. Yep, it's going to end second half there. Um, nil nil. Not second half, first half there. Nil nil. Um, no highlights for us to show. Passionate, we can still come out with a win today because we can. We can beat Weymouth. Um, we have a very mixed record against Weymouth. I think, it, think it's um, e fairly even in terms of wins, draws, and losses. I think it might be around four wins to Weymouth, three draws, and three losses, or some equivalent to that um, pretty sure they've beaten us or I don't know I'm just speaking nonsense now what is wrong with me um, that was a really crap corner it just went straight over everybody's head so Tom Scott's actually picked up a knock and so is Anthony Watson so we have two players and McGeorge now who's taken a knock oh, 
the attack in front three, uh, the attacking, I guess you could say front three, um, apart from Trebs, Luke George is kind of part of it, is hitting a lot of injuries. Um, not nice to see. Do not want to get any long term injuries, but I don't want to replace him straight away. I might, mm, depending on condition, get rid of Tom Scott now. Um, who can I bring on? Griffiths. Um, and way more can go on the right instead of Watson. And Simon Trebs with a poor 6.2 rating so far. Hopefully with the two new wingers coming on, he can actually do something. Watson giving the ball away there. Luckily it's collected from Walker. Walker plays it to Scott. Trebs is through on goal, but what is that? He doesn't even move and then just blasts it at someone. Um, pretty speculative effort if you ask me. It's gone for a corner though. Scott, Marsden, what a finish. Looked like he just kind of controlled that and just smashed it in as we make our two subs now. Um, Scott and Watson coming off for Griffiths and Moore. 1-0 though, 1-0, very, very nice. We're going to go counter before they have a highlight. We'll go counter and then probably in the last five minutes or so we'll go defensive. Um, as they have a corner here, Butcher, good goal for Weymouth. 1-0, same as our goal to be fair. Um, we'll stay on counter, seeing as we just conceded straight away, which is... Really disappointing. I mean, we haven't conceded too many goals this season. Recently, though, we have been kind of letting them in. And 86th minute, O'Leary. Okay, his first ever goal for Weymouth. Just kind of chips a goalkeeper from about, like, 20 yards out. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So we're going to go attacking. Might as well just risk it for a chocolate biscuit and hope that we get something out of the game. Oh, there's a lot of hope in this game, and it never really comes true. We're going to lose this match against Weymouth, guys. We were 1-0 up until around about the 80th minute. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's so annoying. Right, aggressive, I'm not happy. You can't let a 1-0 victory go to a 2-1 loss in 10 minutes. It's just not really good enough, especially when you're top of the table. Luckily, Truro lost as well. Brackley, though. What happened to Brackley? Um, Brackley, Brackley, Brackley. Oh god, am I just being blind? I can't actually see Black Brackley. Maybe they're playing tomorrow. Um, but they actually have two games in hand and can overtake us if they get the two wins, obviously, or get a win and a draw. So we need to kind of watch for that threat. A 2-1 loss, though, away against Weymouth, who are 16th in the table, um, is really not good enough. Oh, another bad live con result. <laughs> That is going to be the end of the episode, guys. If you are enjoying this daily series, then let me know. If you enjoyed this particular episode, then let me know why. I'm not sure why you would enjoy. It's been a very short episode with a very bad result for us. But thank you for watching nonetheless, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.